G'day everyone, Kripozzi here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. This is Solar System Scope, as it always is. It's the tool that I use for um, looking at planets. Funny that. Um, why do I use Solar System Scope compared to some of the other ones? Well, because I don't find any of the others give me as good a line of sight as the um, as solar system scope, as you can see there. Look, this is why we're having all these earthquakes at the moment. It's not just about that line there. Look where we are. We're directly in front of the sun, <laughs> which we always are. Fuck. <laughs> uh, the best statement I've ever said, or dumbest. Okay, my point here is, when you've got this align, these alignments, you're going to get earthquakes. It's as simple as that, folks. You don't need 10,000 people to tell you. You just have to look at this and know that that's what's happening. Okay? Look. That's pretty clear, isn't it? Here's Earth here. Look, these planets are all in a line and it's been squeezed by Venus and Saturn. So that's a, you know, anytime you get a kind of a triangulation type of event happening, then we're going to get rocked with some pretty big earthquakes. That's not rocket science. That's their sheer magnetism. Something's got to give. But I reckon if you're living on any of these planets, It'd be the same. Imagine being on Mercury at the moment. Jeez. Shake, rattle, and roll. Be interesting to see if anybody could find out if there was anything about earthquakes in Mercury. Um, one of the reasons I'm showing you this is I'm going to show you a video in a second, and it will be pretty revealing. Let me, oh, I need to go back. I'll do it the easy way. Hang on. Okay. 2038. I've set it for 2038. So you can see there. Now, at 2038, where is Australia at 2038? Let's go and have a closer look. Ooh, a little bit too close. Okay, you can't see it. The reason you can't see it is because it's under here. That's us there. All the way under. Down under. The great land down under. Okay, you can see the major cities, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth. You can't see Tassie, etc. Or can you? No. They don't even have the lights on. Lights are on, but no one's home in Tassie. All right. Now you can clearly see at that time of night, there is nothing. Oh. Nothing that is, you know, in Australia's line of sight to the moon. Uh, to the earth, uh, to the sun, sorry. There's the moon there, high, uh, high and above Australia, okay? Now, let's just zip around the other side there, which is always important, just in case. There's another planet that we can't see in the bottom of Australia. I can't see one. anybody else no don't think so but let's just double check dwarf planets got the planets let's put the constellations in there okay now let's have a look at earth with the constellations Let me take those off for a second. I'll get back to where we 
where we should be. There's obviously no planets. The moon is at the back of the back of Earth here, as you'd expect. Sun's over here. Does that make sense? It's a very high moon, as you can see outside when you go outside at the moment. The moon is a very high trajectory and getting lots of sunlight from uh, getting lots of uh, illumination from the sun. Hate talking technical. Now, a couple of things to point out. If you're looking for um, Southern Cross at the moment, it is miles out. It's out here. Now, this, I've written to Solar System Scope. If everyone else wants to, all you have to do is actually go and one of these here, it says contact us or something. Uh, there you go, contact the team. Th this is no way in the right position. It can't be. You know, like that's the Southern Cross. I know it's south, but it's not supposed to be that far south. And also the point where I couldn't, if even if I wanted to, ah, bloody thing. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't see um, the Southern Cross at the moment because it's miles out. Not only that, it's pointing the wrong way. At the moment, the last time I saw it, the top end of the cross was facing that way and it was literally facing east. So if anyone can actually confirm that with pictures, uh, I believe if you're going to confirm it, tonight's the night here in Western Australia because, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, because we have probably the last night for a little while of non-cloudy nights. And it is definitely not cloudy tonight, folks. It's not cloudy really any night these days because we're in summer, but... And then that goes the same for over east. At the moment, you've got high temperatures, high clouds, and virtually no clouds. So please, 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 everyone, if you can, and you've got a proper camera, go out and try and get a fixed position on uh, the Southern Cross. Because it'd be interesting. I'd love to be able to send these guys a picture. I don't have a proper camera. All I've got is a BlackBerry phone. That's how old I am. I've still got a BlackBerry. All right. That's the first part of this. So as you can see, there's no real planets that, that are listed that are impeding Australia's view or in Australia's view at the moment out this back end, okay? Having said that, this is Mandra and this is Trig. Now, this... this this, this video is being done for a gentleman who gave me a heads up a sub called Grant Perkins. Grant, this one's for you, mate. Um, I'm shell-shocked that nobody else has even picked this up. So I'm going to play the video. So I'll just let it play and go through, folks. And you'll get the idea. Um, I can't see any anything on solar system scope that gives me what this is at all. So I'm hoping somebody can tell me or tell us. You know, obviously, once again, you're seeing this massive tail off from this horizon shot. It's just amazing. It even confuses the camera because the camera is supposed to go to black and white when the sun drops down, I'm guessing. Um, it's programmed in, but you, you might have seen that it got a bit, uh, went a bit funny. Okay. So now as I said, the moon at the moment is almost a full moon. So it's quite large and it's very high in the sky. Which doesn't explain what 
this is here now before everyone freaks out <coughs> excuse me this is trig beach as you know just near my place uh, and it's an hour north of Mandra. okay so now the time that we saw that one was 2048 so let's have a look at this one just watch this horizon shot it's just amazing just amazing and this is folks when you go down the beach this is what you're looking at Still there, sun's still there. Can't see anything yet. Bingo. So it's actually one hour later than Mandra. But that is absolutely mental because how can it be? one hour later if it's one hour north from Mandra. I'm not going to get a good good picture of it anyway. That's it, it's fully exposed just about. Now, 